What's up guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ray. So the basic guidelines to becoming a TikTok shop affiliate has always been that you need 5,000 followers, you need to be over the age of 18, and you need to post regularly. Now if you are under 5,000 followers, you can get a special invite from TikTok to become an affiliate. There is no set way of how that can happen. Just be consistent and just post. Just to show y'all, I'm not kidding. This happened five days ago. This is where I'm sitting at. If you are not following me on TikTok, I would love it if you would go to my TikTok page and follow me because I post every day, all day. When I woke up the other day, something just told me to check my status. If you're familiar with the TikTok app and you scroll regularly like I do, you get these TikTok shop affiliate promos like ads it says tiktok shop is looking for new affiliates apply now and if you hit apply and you're not at that 5,000 follower account it'll just be like womp womp you don't qualify and i got one of those ads and for some reason something told me girl just just press it and see see what's going on i was like hey you qualify go ahead and apply now i applied congratulations you are now a tiktok shop affiliate you can create and earn i was blown away because as you saw i only have 2900 followers right now it's been almost two months that i've been posting on the app regularly now i love tiktok because i feel like on there i can post things that are more real that are actually me that show my personality i can talk about whatever i want to talk about on there i feel like with instagram everything has to be more aesthetically pleasing it has to be more well thought out versus me just cutting on my phone while I'm in the car and talking about something random on my mind. I attribute being accepted into the TikTok shop affiliate program to how much I post on the app. At minimum, I make one post a day. Now, usually I post two to three times a day every day i know you've seen people talk about this on the app about posting several times a day and being consistent i can attest that that is real if you post consistently on tiktok the algorithm does pick you up and it's like hmm this person this person is actually like serious about posting on this app they will boost you if you're stuck at that 200 300 views maybe less Keep posting, keep posting because I was I was there and you never know what is gonna blow up on your page. You never know. It could be like the most random, unthought out post that you have put out and that be the one that gets 100,000, 500,000, a million views. As some of you know that have been subscribed to my channel for a while, you know that I recently became a mom. I have a mother now of a four month old baby and I love like just creating videos of him because he's so cute and he's so funny. So when I became a mom, I knew that I wanted to start creating mom life content now a lot of people will talk about niching down right I wouldn't say that you need to niche down and like that just be the only thing that you post about but you should have something that you are passionate about because if you have something that you're passionate about that you can create content on the regular because you either know a lot about it or you just enjoy this certain subject it makes it so much easier to create content on a consistent basis so I bring up me being a mom as an example because all I do is take photos and videos of my son, of me and my son, like our day to day, the funny things that he does throughout the day because I'm a stay at home mom. And I create content out of those videos. And it's not hard for me to come up with ideas. It's not hard for me to consistently create this content because it's literally something that I enjoy doing. I can create a lot of this content and I can have something to post every day. I also talk about what it's like like being a mom, being a stay-at-home mother, um, just being a girl in general, like I post things about womanhood. If you create content around something that's just currently trending right now, make sure it's something that you actually like care about, something that you actually have a strong opinion about because you can tell people who post things that they're just posting just to post, just to like get you to follow them. Like you see a lot of people post things on TikTok that are like, hey, look at me, look at me, follow me, follow me, follow me. And it's giving off 
like kind of desperation like you can tell the difference between people who are just like desperately trying to get people to pay attention to them and then people who are creating content that they just like i just love creating content i know that some people have like a social anxiety about um putting yourself out there content creation is not for everyone I know a lot of people, including myself, who have anxiety over posting in general because you don't know who's going to see it. Your friends and your family are going to have opinions on it. You have to get over that. I don't know if it's because may, I feel like after I became a mom, something just like clicked in me where I just don't care. I got past the ick. I post what I want to post. When you go on TikTok, Every now and then it'll pop up this prompt that says, oh, connect your Facebook so your Facebook friends can find you. A lot of my family and friends and people who have known me in the past are on my Facebook. I click no. That's something that can help you. You're not posting content for your friends and family to have opinions on it. That's not what you're posting for. You're posting because you have something that you wanna post about. You should not be worried about what other people that no, actually know you are thinking. Because I promise you, when you start posting just because you wanna post and creating content that you love and you're putting out quality content, and what you'll start to get is people will see your success. Like a lot of my videos on TikTok have gone viral. And since then, people who know me and who have like got got into the ray vibes that what I'm giving on TikTok will actually come and compliment me like girl I saw you post this the other day you are doing it you are getting it because you can't come to me and say nothing negative because obviously the way I post I don't care about other people's opinions I'm posting quality content I am getting to this bag okay and I'm doing exactly what I wanted to do. When I became pregnant and it became apparent to me that I was not gonna be able to keep the job that I was working because, you know, as you all have seen in my stories before on this channel, I was pressured a lot dur during my pregnancy about putting my son in daycare. And what was I going to do after my son was born so that I can go and work an office job five days a week, eight hours a day. That's not for me. If you're a corporate person and that's your vibe, cool, then do that. But for me, I was never a nine to five person. My mom told me, hey, write down what your dream job is. This is right before my son was born. And I wrote down, I wanna create mom content. I wanna make mommy content. I wanna make lifestyle content. I wanna do talking videos. I wanna grow my TikTok audience. I wanna create a, a community of for women to like safely communicate and talk to each other on my channel and in my TikTok page and I am doing just that. Like this has always been something I wanted to do, but I really had to get past the ick part. I've seen a lot of videos on TikTok from bigger creators that will tell you like don't waste your time creating those minute long videos um, because for the TikTok creator fund, you need 10,000 followers for that. And you need to create minute long videos in order for those to get monetized. So a lot of people started creating minute long and longer videos to attract more viewers, attract more followers. And a lot of people are like, don't waste your time doing that. Just worry about the follower count. Listen, I can tell you that the day before I got invited to be a TikTok shop affiliate with my 2,900 followers, I had just posted a story time that was like maybe a minute and a half long the day before. And I truly feel like me posting that video, I had posted three times the day before and that was one of my videos. I feel like posting that the day before is what really gave me a boost. Do not restrict yourself on things that you post. I would suggest posting story time videos. If you have things that are going on in your life throughout the day, pick up your phone, talk about it in an engaging way. People want to hear what you have to say. People love story times. Like I cannot tell you how many times I sit on TikTok and watch somebody talk about some drama that's going on, something crazy that happened at the grocery store, something that's going on with the family or a day in the life. Like I love all different kinds of content. You never know what's going to connect with people and don't let your like count discourage you you may make videos and you get like under 50 likes don't worry about it like seriously keep going I have had so many videos that I have posted and I was like 
this is the one this is the video that's going to go viral and it flops and you know what it used to be so disheartening and i used to be like well, well why am i doing this then i had to ask myself why am i doing this do not dis get discouraged by the numbers because you will have some videos that flop and then you have some videos that will just completely take off and once you do have that first video that takes off do not expect every single video that you post to just automatically take off because it really does not happen that way even a lot of uh bigger creators they have videos that do lower numbers at least lower numbers to their standard but if you're like i said if you're posting stuff that you actually like to post it won't bother you you need to post like nobody's watching honestly and if nobody sees a video and it flops don't let it discourage you because nobody saw it so just keep posting don't delete the video either because you never know that video may end up taking off at a later time i have posted videos that had really low views really low engagement one day and then the next week the numbers are just skyrocketing out of nowhere so don't delete anything post the content a lot of you all watching this probably have videos that you have edited in your phone or saved in your drafts on your tiktoks that you were kind of skeptical to post post it don't second guess yourself just post 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 be consistent be dedicated if this is something that you actually have a passion for just do it what you scared of what are these people gonna do to you post the content yeah people are mean people can be bullies people can say wild things to you on social media but that just comes with the territory so you have to have thick skin in order to do it don't let what people have to say bother you if you want to create some content create the content if you want to post it post it you never know if like that message that you're delivering that day in that post is something that someone needed to hear <laughs> the baby's waking up from his nap i just wanted to come on here and encourage you guys like listen just because your follower count may be low you still can get into the tiktok shop affiliate program and now that i am an affiliate i am going to dedicate myself to posting at least one affiliate post at minimum per day because i have things that i can promote that i actually use and can make money off of all right, somebody's getting fussy. That's all I have for you guys. If you have any questions on this and you want me to make any more videos on this subject, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you for continuing to support my channel. Please follow me on TikTok if you have not already at Ray Locked and Loaded. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hey, can you focus on it?